Clark here with part three of my commentary on the Book of Aries. Today I'm going to talk about the second work in the Path of Brilliance. This is generating the Adonai light, the rainbow hue Adonai light. Okay, so what is the Adonai light? The Adonai light, well, okay, every creature, everything that exists will generate, spontaneously generate and emit a unique kind of light whenever the totality of its awareness is consciously united. In other words, when the static self consciously is connected with the I and everything in between. So static self, sentient self, solitary self, greater self, and I are consciously connected. That raising of the, up the channel that I was describing the last uh, section, you know, now we're going to make use of that. When all of that is consciously united, <clears throat> it generates light. And for human beings, uh, humanoid life forms, um, that light is a rainbow-hued light. Um, f what it is, is an infinite number of little particles of colored light, um, an infinite number of colors exist within the cloud of Adonai light. And it circulates around, it's always in movement. All of these infinite number of little bits of color. Now the Adonai light, well any of these lights that beings generate when the consciousness is fully united <clears throat> are a central meaning. In our case, these, this is particulate form of essential meaning. All the infinite number of different unique types of essential meaning are all represented in the Adonai light. Okay? So that's what the Adonai light is. And we generate it when we unify our awareness. And that is what opening the channel is leading to. It's leading to that and then the next step, our next step, will be generating the Catholic brilliance. That's a little different. In that case, you descend as the I, from the I down through the greater self, the, uh, <clears throat> uh, the solitary self, the sentient self, and the static self. So the I enters itself, enters consciously into the temporal present moment. That generates the Catholic brilliance. But this is making that connection within the temporal present moment. Not bringing the eye down, but maintaining that connection of awareness. Okay? So that is what generates the Adonai light. And will well, we'll just go through that process right now. <clears throat> okay, get comfy. <clears throat> so, you know, by now, that channel is open and, and well exercised. So raise yourself up to the eye. As the eye, we look down from the eye to your greater self. See your greater self and see below that your solitary self. See below that your sentient self and below that your static self. See the totality of your awareness. Now descend into your greater self. And so now you're with your greater self, but 
you maintain your awareness of the I as your greater self. Now descend into your solitary self and maintain that awareness of the I and the greater self as you stand in your solitary self. Now descend into your sentient self, into your astral body. Feel the energetic of your astral body and maintain your awareness of the solitary self, the greater self, and the I. Feel your connection here, this whole continuum of awareness. Now descend into your static self, feel your physical body, feel your astral body, feel your temporal mental body, your eternal mental body, and the I. It's all one thing. And so, as you stand here, connected in that way, in the temporal present moment, the Adonai light erupts around you and circles around you, this great cloud of color, constantly moving around you and growing as you maintain this connection. You have to maintain your conscious connection with the eye and the Adonai light will continue to grow. Now, if you don't see this with your well-trained eyes, you might have to use your creative imagination to sort of light the fire and get it going. You know the routine. <clears throat> so the Adonai light is circling around you and growing in size and now, what you're going to do is disconnect your awareness from the I and the greater self. So now, you are your physical body, your astral body, and your mental body, your temporal mental body. The solitary self, the sentient self, and the static self. This is your magical body, your magical awareness. You're standing here, and look around you. The Adonai light is still there, but it's not increasing. As long as there is a connection with the eye, the light increases. Without that connection to the eye, the light is static, and it's just this quantity of Adonai light. So reconnect now with the eye. Okay. It's all one connection again, and the Adonai light is again increasing. So again, disconnect from the eye, and we have this quantity of Adonai light circling around us. Now we're going to make use of this in a really fundamental way that sort of explains how you make use of the Adonai light. So now, the body of Adonai light, you want to impress upon it your will with the idea that it will bring your three bodies into a greater state of wellness. That is what it is destined to do. Fill the body of Adonai light with that idea. And it, it accepts your idea very quickly and very easily. Now, you're going to draw that Adonai light into yourself, sort of inhale it till it's an infinitely finite point in the depth point, in your depth point, your center point. You inhale it in, and then you exhale it in an explosive release. It explodes outward from that depth point in every direction passes out infinitely to the ed metaphorical edges of the infinite universe. Then it rebounds to you and comes rushing back at you and again surrounds you. You have blessed the Adonai light, given it a blessing of the universe. This is essential any time you work with the Adonai light. 
give it that blessing. So it surrounds you now. All you have to do is open yourself, open your three bodies to the Adonai light and let it penetrate your physical body, your astral body, and your mental body. And your bodies know what they need for greater wellness. And they will take from the Adonai light, because you have opened your bodies to the Adonai light, they will take from the Adonai light what they need. So you don't have to direct anything here. You don't have to decide how much of what color light goes where kind of thing. You just let the Adonai light do its work and just return to normal awareness. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> to generate the light, you need to make that connection with the eye and hold on to the connection with the eye. And that can <clears throat> be very quick. You can connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect at will, basically, and generate the Adonai light. This doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out process at all. Um, <clears throat> but always send it out to the edges, metaphorical edges of the universe that touch the infinity in that way um, to bless it, as it were. Uh, it empowers the Adonai light, um, magnifies any uh, uh, desire, impression, will that you have impressed upon the Adonai light upon its return. It's greatly strengthened. And open uh, whatever is the object of the Adonai light. So you can take it into yourself, send it out to the uh, edges of the universe and have it come back to any point in space and time. Okay, it doesn't have to always come back to you. But you can bring it back to yourself and project it and use it in that way if you want. Uh, you can use it in any of the ways that you would use the elements, the fluids, the vital energy, etc. Um, <clears throat> the point here is to get used to generating the Adonai light and using the Adonai light to basically master the use of the Adonai light. It's very, very simple, really. Um, now, <clears throat> this has all been an abbreviated version of the magic of Yodhe Vavhe Adonai. Now that, the TMO. Now that is an alternative to learning it in this way, uh, to pursue TMO. If you've already pursued TMO, then you're done with this section. <laughs> and it's already um, simple for you. Um, what I suggest is that you take this technique, if you've uh, master TMO, that you take this technique, the way it's abbreviated, and modify your practice in that way so that you don't have to go through the whole canticle to, you know, accomplish this. Or, you know, unless it's all become very, so very quick for you, um, that doesn't matter. Okay? But you want to... Uh, make this process as brief and as automatic as possible. Um, which this is important for the, the next step with uh, uh, learning to generate the Catholic brilliance. Because that's quite different. Um, but made easier, much easier to master if you have mastered this work with the outer night light. And also, in the... <coughs> In the work of the magic of essential meaning, the particulate, the way that the Adonai light presents essential meaning in all of its particles, and all of its 
infinite number of particulate manifestations, um, this is very handy for uh, the work of perceiving those particles individually um, and being able to identify those particles individually and uh, themes throughout the whole body of the central meaning, etc. So, that's it for now. Um, next week we'll be on the uh, Generating Catholic Journey. Okay? Bye-bye.